down goes the entire city. Uh oh. No! Godzilla, no! His scales. Oh my god, I think it's breaking my computer. Hello, everybody, Grace of Blaze, and we're back with more brick rigs. Over here! You expected to see something enormous, didn't you? It's just a dude on a wheel. Flying Sauce has made a motorized unicycle. I saw this, and I was like, how, how do you possibly drive this thing? How is this... Is it? No, of course it's not. I was gonna say, is it possible for Gray to actually get this thing to go in a straight line? Of course it's not. It's a friggin' unicycle. It's motorized. How would you do this? How do you balance on it? I feel like I want to blow this up. I've got to give it at least one more try. Oh, for the love of God. All right, I think, you know, we're moving. We're, oh, 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 okay. The camera is making me friggin' sick. Come on, baby. All you have to do is move your sad little tire and touch the pavement real smooth, real slow. Okay, I, I think once you stop rocking, you're screwed. Like, there's nothing you can do. If you can get enough momentum every once in a while, you can, like, do the worm on the pavement and make this thing go. But if you don't get there, you're pretty much jacked. Last try. All right, how about if we, like, slowly go forward? Oh, oh, hold on. It, oh, 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 okay, okay, here we go. Oh, it's kind of working. How is this turning? Like, it's turning, and I don't know how. This is so odd. All right, we're doing this, baby. We're doing this. Let's freaking do this. We're gonna, I want to go, oh, it's like quap. It's like when you can only move, like, eight inches, and then when you get nine inches, you feel like you've managed to really accomplish something. I... Not today, though. We're not- you know what? We're blowing this up. Screw it. I thought about how I wanted to blow this unicycle up, and then I decided to go as ridiculous as possible. Alpha Gyrodos is back with Godzilla. It was only a matter of time before the King of Lizards made his way into freaking brick rigs. Jude would be proud. Who is Jude, you may ask? That's not important. What is important, it looks like this has lights on it. I think this has lights on it. Hold on, let's go ahead and click a bunch of buttons and see what happens. There we go. Yes. Good. How does it appear at night? Eh, vaguely intimidating. It's got some odd interior goo going on in the stomach region. Hold on a moment. Let us, let us move swiftly through the anus of Godzilla and see what there might be inside. There's a vehicle in here! What is this? What? <laughs> he ate the entire vehicle, and there's bodies in here as well. This is, okay, hold on, hold on. I've got to, let me just turn the sun back on real quick. I, I mean, it's, we're inside, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, it's a Colorado, the Chevy Colorado in here. It figures, that's what you get for not buying a full-size truck, baby. Over here, the skeleton of some poor schmuck looking quite perturbed as his brand new Chevy Colorado gets eaten by the Lord Lizard himself. What else is down here? Just a random engine as well as some other sprawled out bodies and such. So this is, uh, this is what was drawing us into the belly of the beast. Let us elevate ourselves. And see what else there is. I think I popped outside. Over here, our buddy driving the creature, the prehistoric titan himself. Or maybe he's just been eaten uh, and he hasn't been swallowed yet. I really don't know. Is there anything else inside of the beast? Is there? Is there like maybe a brain inside of this bucket or some such? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like this is the main, the main, here's your spoilers right here, boys. There's the main thing. I gotta, hold on a second. I gotta know. I feel like, I feel like there's some sort of actuator here or something. Hold on. Let us go back into the creature. Now, can you move? Okay. Yeah, he sure moves. Tail moves as well. Oh, mother of God. Oh, the jaw opened. Why did the jaw open? Can I get the jaw to close? Nope, sure can't. Very interesting. I feel like I've broken... I feel like I've broken his jaw. I feel like I've completely unhinged his, uh, his bottom jawbone here. It doesn't look very nice. Anyway, 
Let us get to the explodicating. Now, supposedly, and I don't know why we are viewing this at such a, a odd angle like this. Supposedly, Godzilla happens to have an ultra-powerful stump that he uses to level everything around him. Is this true? I'll be the judge of that. Fire the stump! Yep! Yep, he's got a powerful stump. Oh my god! Oh, what? He's got a powerful stump, all right. Down goes the entire city. Uh oh, no! Godzilla, no! His scales. Oh my god, I think it's breaking my computer. Well, well, well. Godzilla legitimately broke my entire computer. Good, good, well done. Well done. Not only did he level the city, he leveled my freaking Intel processor as well. It was only a matter of time, but just you boys wait. Old Gray has another computer in the works right now so that I can melt that one for your entertainment as well. Also, oddly, I found that you can apparently open and close his claws with the page up and page down key. Not really, he kinda just his thumbs. So it makes him slightly more impressive than other lizards because he, he legitimately does have thumbs. Now, I gotta know, like I'm a glutton for punishment. So if I press this button again, will it, will it destroy the game once more? Will this crash my game again? Let's find out. Fire the ultra stomp. God, that is amazing. Let's go ahead and do it in full speed. Godzilla, there's no chance. Yep. Well, Godzilla, you're two for two. Crash the game twice. I don't know what it is about Godzilla that that my computer hates so much. I've destroyed I've destroyed buildings with five and ten thousand bricks, and I had the slideshow simulator, but it never uh, it never crashed everything. So this is new and exciting. Yes, when crashing computers is new and exciting. So we can't blow up Godzilla because the Lord hates that. The Lord of Brick Rigs, that is. But over here is Scorpionis. Besides having a fantastic name, has made this walker. I don't know how. I, I think I took like one step and now the walker is just face planting into the ground. This isn't really the best image of what this thing can do. It's pretty sweet. It's a walker. It legitimately walks. Look at it go. It has some cannons on it as well. Watch this. With this over with this beautiful beast, we can shoot some guns and there ha can you move the cannon? Oh, you sure can. Look at that. You can move the cannon not in the alternate mode. You can do it in the regular mode. Is there a Amy function for the cannon, I wonder? Eh, not really. Scorpionis is Walker. Does not like the way that uh Godzilla over here keeps crashing Gray's computer. So he's gonna open fire with the cannons. Open fire. And after a whole lot of bullets and shells have been expanded, uh, we knocked down a couple of Godzilla's, uh, what, what, what do you call these over here? It's like, you know what I mean? You know, the giant, the giant spiny scale things, you know, on the dinosaur. I feel like these have some sort of legitimate nomenclature. I just don't know what it is. Obviously, though, Godzilla does not take kindly to such bullcrap. And thus, he must respond in kind by blowing the living crap out of anything that opposes him prior to the double foot bomby power things. There we go. Look, the game is not blowing up. Everything else is. I lied. The game totally blew up. What is it? What is it? Is it because all the buildings are falling simultaneously? Is that what it is? I've leveled half this city before. I know I've done it. I haven't had that many problems. So you know what? Part of this episode is now going to be a stress test. Over here. Spam track has the K100 Road King. I'm going to blow this thing up. If this crashes the computer, we know... Well, the computer isn't crashing. Brick Rigs is crashing. But you, you get what I'm saying. If this crashes Brick Rigs, we're going to know something's wrong. There's like almost 3,000 bricks over here. So it's pretty legit. Let us jump over into the pilot seat. If I can call this such a thing. The pilot seat 
of Godzilla. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this full speed. I'm not gonna slow it down. Godzilla, stop your freaking foot and blow this thing up. Bam! And everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. Well, almost everything's fine. This guy isn't fine. <laughs> the Road King, it's almost like a blade. Uh, like a, a, a hypersonic blade just cut right through the Road King and tore it to shreds. Now, if I slow things down, oh, I hope it's not because I slow things down. I love slowing things down. Let's go ahead. Oh, what is what is happening now? What is going on up there? We go. Let us let us move over here slightly with Godzilla as we do. He doesn't really walk per se. He just kind of rollerblades around. Even Godzilla is kind of hip and trendy. All right, we're gonna put him over here. All right, we're gonna throw the parking brake on because Godzilla knows what time it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and slow things down and we're gonna fire the foot stomp again. Will this destroy the universe? Let us find out, my friends. I'll tell you what it did destroy. It destroyed the Road King. The Road King swallowed and engulfed in black smoke and regret as pieces and dreams go cascading into the sky. Uh, nope, everything's totally fine. So that's definitely what it is. Apparently, when I knock too many buildings down, the game is unhappy. The game begins to shed a tear. But when I blow up all these different creations, the game couldn't care less. Verdeth is back with the- What just happened? Verdeth! Okay, well, the figures. Well, let's just follow this flaming wreckage into the pit of despair. Verdeth is back with, I think this is called like the Valkyr Earth. It's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be like a flying saucer. Maybe I used this incorrectly. All I did was spawn it. Verdeth, what did I do wrong, man? All I did was spawn it in and it exploded. Should I put it on invincibility or something? I saw this, this is like one of the first legitimate flying saucers in brick rigs, like UFO style. I wanted to get the opportunity to use it and try and fly it because Verdeth said that it's like really, really hard to fly. So without any practice, I had to give it a shot. The only issue is, is that immediately we have combusted into a flaming pit of sadness. So now I have to regurgitate this thing up over here. Turn on the invincibility goo. Turn on the invincibility goo. There it is. Make sure that time goes by as per normal. And now we should be able to blast off. So we've got some turrets on here. I didn't mean to hit that building. We've got some turrets on. There we go. We've got some turrets on here that we can use. And there's all kinds of blasty chunks all over the place to make this thing go up and down. I don't really know where, like forward is uh i think maybe like this all right let's try and lift this thing up over here so let's see like this 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 yeah we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine now how do you is this made just for space or is there a way to to take this thing off i feel like there may be a way to take this thing off all right page up and down to lift off it says okay all right yep oh boy all right, well, I'm doing a little bit of a barrel roll over here. Didn't really expect this to happen. I should have known, though. I should have known. How do I... How do I get up? I think once we've turtled ourselves, we're kind of screwed. All right, you beautiful beast. Come on now. Oh, 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 okay, okay. All right, no, no. No! We're so close to getting up off the ground. 80th times the charm. Da -da 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 -da. You know we're almost getting there. I really feel like we're starting to like we're starting to make some headway over here. All right, I've got it. You just have to be able to hit like 35 buttons at once. Oh my god, it's working. Yes. No. 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 Come on, man, Verdeth, what sort of creation have you made just to get in the air for like five seconds? It's like the most difficult thing I've ever done in Brick Rings. Oh, oh, okay, all right, 
Yep. No. 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 Yes. I'm doing it. We're freaking doing it, man. Oh my god. We're flying. Oh no. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. No. 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 All right. This is still my personal best. That was my personal best right there. I think what were we in the air for like 10 full seconds? That is a C plus. That's gotta be like a C plus, I would say, for UFO flying. All right, we can do this. We can do this. We got it. We got it. Okay. Now. No, 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 kind of, kind of go. No, 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 Don't angle toward the ground. Don't angle toward the ground. Ah! I wish there was a way for you to like flip back up once you flipped over the problem is is that you can turn off you can turn off the little bottom blasty guys but you can't you can't ever seem to get yourself back up in the air we're just looking at dandelions man this is legitimately the most difficult thing i think i've ever flown in my life but i'm i think i'm getting there all right now let's kind of go forward a little bit yes Okay, good, good. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good, good. Go ahead and bring the landing gear up. The landing gear's kind of flipping out. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Now, if we're gonna... No! No! Stop angling! Stop angling! You know what to do. All right, now go forward. Forward. All right, or you can just slam into the ground. You know what? I was gonna have this thing attack... Godzilla, you know, we have to attack Godzilla with this. All right, just stay there, stay there. There we go, oh, I think I missed, crap. Oh boy, all right, nope, this is, this is bad. Oh, I didn't, I didn't recover in time, nope. I've decided if I slowed things way down, this may legitimately work. What kind of guns do we have over here? Oh, they're all over here. Well, this is a friggin' problem because I'm not facing Godzilla at all. I'm facing like the opposite direction. Let's see what happens if I legitimately try and arc this thing. Uh, I think if I do page down, that should begin to bring us downward slightly. I can't believe this is working, by the way. Uh, this, this thing probably should have flipped by now. The only thing that's saving us is the fact that the physics are mostly frozen right now. You know that. Okay, so now throw on the thrusters. Fire the cannon. We totally missed. That was a total miss. Okay, now we're kind of hitting the ground, but I think we're going to get the full bounce on this one. This is odd. There we go. I was going to say, we're not even getting to hear the gunshots. I don't even know where those are going. Right in the chicklets. Right in the chicklets, Godzilla. How do you like that crap? I feel like this would be a lot easier with a game pad or something. So I'm just gonna kind of like slowly levitate inside. There we go, those are good hits. Screw you, Godzilla. I'm gonna get one cannon shot off this let. Wow. I was gonna say, I'm gonna get one cannon shot off if it's the last thing you do. I want my Colorado back. I want my Colorado back, Godzilla. Give it to me. Hold on, let's see if we can blast off again here. Turning the thrusters back on. Turning the thrusters back on. Fire the cannon again. The quad cannon. We're taking Godzilla down. I think it's legitimately working. Look at this. The UFO, it's not really flying. It's just kind of like sadly barely beginning to hover. Because driving this thing is akin to driving like a, a zero turn lawnmower upside down underwater while you're drunk or something. But it's, we're getting, I mean, I feel like we were definitely starting to get somewhere with it. If we're gonna make my computer hate me, we're gonna do this right. Godzilla versus Godzilla. I'm gonna try and slow things down so much that they both get their epic stomps off. So here we go. Epic stomp number one. All right, let's get over here quick. All right, and epic stomp number two. Both stops are going. There we go. There's the first set of kneecaps ripped apart. There's the second set of kneecaps ripped apart. This is uh, this is the duo of Godzillas recreating the Godfather. And everything that I thought would happen, happened. I, I'm very, very satisfied with this turn of events. 
This Godzilla over here got ejected from his legs. There we go. And in, in like almost like a super fly Jimmy Schnooka move over here. I don't know if some of you guys are old enough to know who that is. It was almost a cool high flying maneuver, but he completely missed. And now both Godzillas are lying upon the ground. What happened over here? Why does there why is there just a random disbursement of bricks? It's probably because I messed with the freaking uh with the freaking physics. That's usually how it goes. And this this display calls for only one thing. Usually what you what you need to do if you want to cause grave problems in brick rigs is you slow everything down to the slowest possible speed and then you, you kind of like you go in and out like this over here that sounds terrible you make the physics kind of go back and forth and back and forth and eventually what will happen is that right there things begin happening so right now this speed that you're seeing it looks like a regular explosion right it looks like oh great this isn't anything abnormal it's just a brick rig explosion nothing nothing new to see here no see you gotta remember that we're at like you know 0 0.001 times speed so let's watch what happens when we go to normal speed billy up <laughs> and there it goes everything randomly randomly just I don't know, it's like a supernova. It's like a giant supernova. It's like some sort of star exploding in upon itself. Random bricks, just what was that? There's just like a piece of a piece of Godzilla just flying across the screen. Pieces just go flying into the distance. The beautiful cloudless sky looking on as another day of destruction in brick rigs happens with a lot of computer crashes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Until the next time. Stay foxy and much love.